Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 1st, 2021. Well, yesterday, doggone it, we just continued to have a little bit of back and forth in the market. We seesawed back and forth, back and forth in um, some pretty wild volatility as those economic data points just continued to well failed to really inspire the bulls and kept those bears engaged enough to not improve anything so let's take a look at these technicals see if we can get an idea how we may want to approach the market for today on this friday Good morning once again, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Happy Friday, everyone. Um, it has been a tough week for the market. Doggone it. We we thought we might get a relief rally going last Friday, and then uh, those, uh, those hopes kind of got smashed against the rocks as we continue to get economic data that... Um, is pretty discouraging about the overall economy. And then this morning we hear that the European Central Bank is going to start a rate hiking cycle as their inflation hits a new record high of 8.6%. So uh, the hits may keep on coming here uh, for a while longer. However, that being said, there may be a little bit of a silver lining here, a little bit of hope, assuming this three-day weekend doesn't mess us up or that the economic data that we have coming doesn't mess us up. First off, let's take a look here. Obviously, we're still in a downtrend in this chart. But there is some good news in this chart in the fact that as bad as the data has been, you want to notice that the bears have not been able to push us into new market lows. We've been able to hold, the bulls have been able to hold this up. So if we can find some inspiration here for the bulls, if we can get some data that's not quite so bad, uh, maybe we will hold on to this little area of price support in here and maybe kick just a bit higher. Now, I can't say that we're going to break that downtrend, but holding a higher low um, does raise just that little bit of hope that a relief rally could be coming soon. And I'll show you in a bit, our T2122 indicator also suggests that we, we're we in need of a relief rally. If we take a look at our moving averages, obviously there's nothing bullish here in these moving averages. 50 continuing that push down below the 500 day and our shorter term averages pushing on lower. So technically um, not much there that can we could really hang our hat off uh, hat on other than maybe an oversold condition. If we take a look at um, the SPY, also SPY, very similar situation. And once again, there's that downtrend. We have that resistance in the chart. We broke this upside trend, but Again, we have that good news. As bad as the data was, we didn't really break this down to new lows in the market. Remember, uh, when we make lower highs, that should be followed by a lower low. And it's still possible that that could occur, but there is also that little tiny hint of possibility that we make a higher low in here and maybe push back up. So fingers crossed for that. Technically in here, certainly, nothing to be excited about as you can see with that 50 down through the 500 just uh, these technicals are not good if we take a look at the qqq again similar hope and one thing that might be helping just a little tiny bit in the nasdaq is we have those bond uh, uh, yields easing just a little bit here we've had them easing just a tiny little bit over the last three days and they're doing it again this morning so that could help um, some of the tech here. Remember, we're still in a downtrend. We still have price resistance above and we broke this upside trend, but we still have that little tiny hope here that we're holding that higher low and that possibility that we could bump up a little bit higher. Now, of course, three day weekends can certainly be challenging, but let's keep an eye on that. And notice that our technicals here continue to be very, very sick. Um, on our Russell IWM, same thing is true here in IWM. Downtrend remains in place. We continue to have resistance challenges in the chart. We break the down or that little uptrend, but 
we're holding on just a little tiny little tiny ledge right there we're trying to hold on to a higher low so unless those bears uh, get majorly inspired today maybe we can have that hope that we hold a higher low and push up just a little bit higher so what could cause us problems with that today well first off let's take a look at our vix our vix dug on it um, is not giving us a whole lot um, here to hang our hat on you can see we've got that uptrend in play here in the chart we certainly have price support in that chart but even though we had that bad data yesterday and we popped up here in um, our VIX well they couldn't hold on to it and they pushed back down so that does give us that little tiny bit of hope that maybe we'll catch a lower high in here and push back down now i'm not su suggesting that it, it means that we're just gonna you know just rip to the upside and break this on down because i really don't think that's going to occur but there is that little hope that we might catch a little relief here in the market then let's take a look at our t2122 now t2122 probably gives us the biggest hope of a relief um, notice we're down here in our bearish reversal zone now we have seen this before where we stay down here in our bearish reversal zone or excuse me bullish re reversal zone here for a while so we can linger down here but let's um, kind of lean maybe with some hope of a little bit of relief lean into that and say let's see if we can get a little follow through to the upside and relieve some of that pressure in here in the market we'll see um, of course we have data coming our way that could change attitudes here really quickly so um, we'll take a look at that in just a moment if we take a look at our t2107 unfortunately whoops unfortunately our t21 doggone it you would think one of these days i'd learn how to type um the t2107 as you can see in here it really didn't get any inspiration yesterday um just kind of that spin those spinning top dojis here in the market just really didn't provide us with a whole lot of hope and um, as you can see it, it, we're still holding on to a little bit of price support in there and we're stuck between a little bit of price resistance in the chart but only 17 percent of the stocks holding above their 200 day that's a pretty rough case to build a strong bullish case but it may be just enough to give us that little hope that we're oversold we're holding the higher lows we may get a little bit of relief if we look at t2108 kind of a similar situation um, pulled back yesterday just wasn't really really strong 22 percent of the stocks holding above their 4d day kind of wedge between some levels in here can't really quite get any momentum to get moving but again i'm um, kind of oversold and maybe we have that opportunity um, um, out there for a little tiny lift let's take a look at our um, economic calendar and what i've been talking about here in that economic calendar is the challenges that we face are going to be these numbers this morning pmi manufacturing we saw earlier this week in manufacturing number from dallas manufacturing and from the richmond manufacturing number just absolutely terrible terrible results in those numbers now we're going to face the bigger numbers here today with pmi manufacturing and that ism manufacturing number we'll want to watch those closely unfortunately um, the consensus has these numbers holding up relatively well um, it would probably be a little bit better if they were expecting a really bad number and then we improved um, we were better than that bad number but they're continuing to post numbers that they that are better than um, I think a lot of people might be expecting so we'll want to watch that uh, closely here this morning as those numbers roll out and then of course construction spending we all know that as rates rise um, it wouldn't be a big surprise to see construction spending pulling back but we've been going through some humps and bumps in that in um, in that number so it's also possible that 
maybe some supply chain things have resolved a little bit and builders are being able to complete or finish some product projects. So um, watch that carefully. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar and what we have is a real nice break today. Um, on our earnings calendar, we don't have any verified reports for this morning. So a dead day for the market uh, when it comes to earnings, nothing that I can really report on for the day. Let's take a look at um, um, some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that really quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful and helpful, if you could do me that favor, continue to click those thumbs up buttons, leave, leave those brief comments, that helps the channel to continue to grow. And um, I just wanna say thank you so much for everyone who does do that. You guys are truly, truly awesome. Um, you humble me every day. Of course, there's always the name sayers out there there's the folks there's always the haters but i have a delete button and i just say you know what we don't need any of that negative stuff and i just click delete so <laughs> no big problem there let's take a look at um some stocks that might be setting up here guys but remember we're gonna have to be really really careful and maintain that cautiousness in the market jumping right back in and racing into trades probably not the best of ideas here in the market but we want to watch some of these things pretty closely now I, i'll tell you yesterday i was looking over ups as a matter of fact i was watching that pretty closely and i think ups is starting to look pretty good here it triggered an alert for me i'm still watching it kind of closely i haven't picked it up yet and the reason i haven't is i i'm really um stressing um waiting for excellent setups if i'm going to go long in a bear market i want excellent setups and it's not quite there yet and the reason that is the case is we're ahead of our trend notice that this would be a pretty steep upside trend and we may still need that resting consolidation out here to this trend before we get going so i'm not in a big rush and really ahead of a three-day weekend uh, I'm really not in a big rush. So watch that closely, but I think UPS could be setting up. As you guys know, I've mentioned Merck a couple of times this week, and Merck still has that potential that it could hold in here. I think it's worth watching closely. Um, we pulling, we're, we rallied through, broke through resistance, and now we're resting and pulling back here, trying to hold on to some support. Keep a close eye on that. There may be some opportunities here to um, pick up some trades here. We've also seen stocks like um, Procter & Gamble putting in some higher lows. Notice we have that possibility of an inverted head and shoulders pattern forming here in the chart. So give this some time, allow it to rest again against this resistance and see if it can push on through. We've seen stocks like Johnson & Johnson holding up pretty well, um, trying to find some support in this area. Keep a close eye on it. If it can hold that higher low, it may come around to the upside. We saw stocks like um, some of the healthcare stocks like UNH pushing through some resistance here this week. So let's watch this carefully. We're getting just a little bit of a rest right here um, last couple of days. So let that consolidate and rest. Certainly, even if the market gets ugly, 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 we're still gonna need healthcare um, stocks. So something to watch in here for that opportunity that those might move up. You might also wanna be focusing on some just old boring dividend payers um, in the market that are holding up pretty darn well. Take a look at AT&T. AT&T has a possibility of a high inverted uh, um, head and shoulders pattern. And as this consolidates and rests across here, good strong dividend payer, watch for an opportunity there on AT&T. Um, I've also seen uh, Verizon, whoops, Verizon trying to hang in here with another inverted head and shoulders type pattern, as you can see, and that possibility that it might soon find that energy to break through that resistance and push on higher. So keep an eye on that. Other defensive sector stocks, take a look at like CPB, Campbell Soup, Campbell Soup holding up in here, breaking through some resistance. I know it's boring. It is a boring, boring stock, 
But doggone it, boring stocks can be a nice safe haven in a market that is uncertain. And particularly heading into, remember in a couple of weeks, we're gonna head into third quarter earnings season. And I think it's gonna be a challenging quarter uh, for a lot of these companies. So just be careful and maybe hold on to some of these defensive sector stocks. These are the kind of things that we're still going to need, um, um, even if the market shows more bearishness. Now, so watch this little support area in here. Look for that next opportunity to the upside. You might want to take a look. Someone in the in the right way options room pointed this one out to me. I hadn't seen it yet. Um, and that was CLX. CLX, a nice little higher low. And you can see that inverted head and shoulders pattern starting to form in here that opportunity that that might push on through some of these divvy payers might be picking up and looking pretty darn good so watch them closely there are some out there that have disappointed though um, so we've got to be picky and choosy about some of these stocks if you take a look at like um, um, Constellation Brands. Constellation Brands had a good earnings report, but boy, it sold off hard after that earnings event. So um, there is a mix here that we're going to have to be paying attention to in these defensive sector stocks. And that really puts us into that situation where we've got to be a good technical stock picker. We got to really be picky about the price action that we see in the chart before we um, go rushing into trades. Um, if we take a look at other charts out there, take a look at like Coca-Cola. Um, Coke has been struggling here as a defensive sector stock, but notice that we're breaking that downtrend here and we're trying to hold the higher low. So keep an eye on this if that has that opportunity to push on through to the upside. And there's a few others out there in that sector that I think it'd be worth watching. So with that guys, hey, I'm gonna wind this video down. Um, I wanna wish you all a fantastic day. And remember, we have a three day weekend. Remember the purpose of that weekend the um you know independence day is one of those extremely important um days um, but unfortunately so many folks don't re uh, you know certainly we go out and have hot dogs and we watch fireworks and we have a great time with that but remember why we're celebrating um the fact that um uh, our founders uh, won our freedom here in the country. So remember that this weekend. Remember those folks who continue to, de to defend us and um, continue to support us um, to maintain that freedom here in the United States. We need to respect those folks that are working hard and also those first responders like police and fire. While we're out celebrating, they are going to be at work protecting us. So remember those folks this weekend as well. I want to wish you all the very, very best for you and your family. And we'll see you right back here bright and early, bright and early Tuesday morning. Wish you all the best, everyone.